Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I will be sharing with you some fragrances that I added to my collection during the end of August and also some things that were given to me and birthday gifts as well because today is the 7th of September. I'm already 34. Oh my god. But um, yeah, another year. Super thankful for another year of life and hoping to have more and more summers in my life in the future so um let us start with the fragrances that i added one that i forgot to mention during my august haul this one is Deserad by obosan i know the bottle is so me it's so weird it's just you know like look at this bottle it's like frosted glass and what is that is that a fish is that a mermaid is that a spaceship we we don't know but this one is a fragrance that i purchased because of veronica or veronica says here on youtube um she talked about this fragrance in one of her um, videos about um, affordable hidden gems and all of that and when i saw the bottle i was like I will get that and she honestly loves this fragrance this is a powder bomb fragrance you guys super affordable this is 100 ml i don't know how much i paid for it all i know is that this was super affordable and this is indeed a powder bomb and the dry down is super nice but if you are not into fragrances that you know during the late 80s 90s kind of you know scent profile then you know like i don't know if you'll be a fan of this but you know you guys know how much i love you know those scent profiles during you know the the older years older years but during that era that um, um decade this is something that you know i just enjoy for myself because my husband has a very morbid description of this and i'll be filming a separate video another one that i have in my collection my very first luxury fragrance this was given to me you guys i may have already seen my um, review of this fragrance this is fragrance dubois milano this is a nice leather fragrance but if you have seen that video i did mention that this one smells very similar to amber oud gold by um, al haramain so nice fragrance super thankful to have this in my collection um, my most expensive bottle that i didn't pay for myself thank you for that um thank you to the house for making me experience the luxury so, i did purchase some minis from kayali i really wanted to get all the fragrances that i have yet to um try but elixir wasn't available so that's the only one i have not tried yet so i did get citrus 08 this one is a nice fragrance you guys i was super excited to try this because i know stephanie tamayo really loves this fragrance and i do understand why she loves this but this one reminds me of a fragrance that i already have in my perfume collection so i think if i get elixir 11 i will do like a Kayali or like a house review or something or house overview because some of their fragrances remind me of fragrances I already have in my collection. So this is one of them, Citrus 08. And I also have Musk 12. I was super surprised with how obsessed I am with this. I tell you, I have been wearing this like for four days straight at work. I really love this. I know this doesn't have the biggest fan base out compared to all the other Kayali fragrances. And people say this is just boring, not something for them. Honestly, for me, this just smells like sweet skin or like powdered sugar or like marshmallow powdered sugar on my skin, you know, very light. And I don't I know this one doesn't have any marshmallow notes, but that's how it is to me. I love the sweet um, scent that it has. It's soft and sweet. And surprisingly, even compared to vanilla, this one I can smell throughout the whole wear. Vanilla does like a hide and seek on my skin, but this one I can smell throughout the whole wear and I can still get whiffs of it. I wore this um, on two 12-hour shifts. This is something that I know I can wear if i'm daring enough to you know really spray it on myself at work because this is a soft fragrance so um yeah i will not be going over this one i love this musk 12 and i was super happy that they already released a 10 ml of utopia vanilla cocoa 21. this is also another fragrance that i am loving together with musk so these two i really love and i also have of course invite only amber 23 i filmed a separate video i think i don't know if this video will be up first or the review but um yeah just to saturate you know youtube and you know i know you guys have seen like a lot of videos about this but i had to film a separate video so invite only amber 23 i really like this light amber layer on your skin very soft fragrance but yeah not what i expected but invite only it suits the name 
And also I have other things that I have been enjoying recently, ones that I've recently added, and most of these were given to me. So just, this is the only thing that I bought for myself actually, or a couple of things. I have been enjoying a lip oil. This is by NYX hashtag this is everything this is just a transparent lip oil that i've been enjoying i don't i'm not really the biggest fan of lip oils um, but during my high school days you know those, those um lip gloss i think it's back um on trend right now like those um uh, squeezy tube kind of lip glosses this is t reminds me of that and why am i into lip oils now because i am just obsessed with zavid uh, a youtube channel he does reaction videos of movies and series and all of that um i did post about him on my community page so i've been enjoying this one a lip oil by nyx and one thing that i purchased for myself this is my birthday gift for myself um I don't really need very lavish gifts and I don't like gifts and when I receive gifts I feel like oh God, do I deserve it like no please don't um that's what I felt with fragrance to Bois Milano when they sent me an email for a PR inquiry but then I thought you know don't take it personally because um you're just doing their job for them you know you know just advertising their fragrances be it you know good publicity or bad you know it's still publicity and advertising for the brand and i thought that you know like why are they contacting me agreement number two don't take things personally and that um if you haven't read that book i suggest you guys to read that um don't take things personally and that counts to both negative and positive comments about you or positive and negative comments about your life so if someone tells you oh my god you're like this and like that and that's negative don't take it personally so i was like yeah of course i never take things personally but when in that book mentioned even you know the co um the compliments and the good things said about you don't take it personally so i thought you know i'm just not going to take it personally i'm just one of the cog wheels of advertising i will accept a free bottle i did a review i liked it but i did mention expensive not the kind of fragrance that i would just purchase for myself and um sample first and i did suggest a dupe for it so yeah milan so anyway a gift for myself it's a book it's this book this is the most haunted house in england this book once um it was the year 2008 or 2009 i always go to book sales and when i saw this book i haven't heard anything about it i just have this thing that i don't buy books because of the covers like i when i go to the book sale i don't know if you guys if you love books and you do this i just run my hands through the books and if i just feel like i have a connection with something i just you know get it and that's what i felt with this one this was the only book from that book sale so um this is actually a story about um borley rectory you guys know how i feel about horror movies and you know true crime and all of that and how I, how i dabbled in a little bit of magic before and how you know i don't really do that anymore um this book though when i read it it scared me so much that i didn't want to go to the toilet alone for several nights that's what this book did and um out of the hundreds of books that i owned uh when we moved houses in 2011 2010 2011 um i had to sell and give away most of my books but this book and another another book that i posted on my community page which somebody commented was very disgusting um yeah i'm still looking for that book i forgot the author i forgot the name i don't even remember anything all i know is the plot so anyway this was one of the books that i kept when we moved houses but um there was a very big like huge flood um that devastated our city in 2011 and i lost you know the book so when i saw this on amazon there was only one left i said like you know, this is like yes i need to get it and um super happy that i did this is my birthday gift for myself 15 dollars. i don't really need a lot of you know fancy gifts something very special like this one just does the thing for me. my best friend here in iceland did give me a bunch of gifts and um i am super happy with these so she gave me some bath and body works um body gels um lemon and strawberry what's so thoughtful about this you know giving me gifts that's just enough to tear me up okay but you know we my my best friend and i we talk about you know a lot of random things but she is this kind of person that you say something she will remember that we were talking about she knows that i have this youtube channel she's a great supporter and she knows that i love perfumes and all of that so at one time we were talking about you know like um i was loving this one because she loves the or satsuma orange and i said i really like strawberry and lemon is also a great you know citrus everyday refreshing kind of uh, a scent or body gel but i don't really buy these for myself and she bought 
these for me. And she also gave me a makeup palette. So for my birthday last year, I think, or for a Christmas gift, she gave me the mini Orgy palette by Jeffree Star and the huge palette, the MAC palettes, which I use almost every day because it's like all neutrals and browns and all that. So I also have this one, the mini, but um, there was actually some um, problems with the formulation. So all of those who ordered the mini palettes, uh, mini orgy palettes, um, were given replacement palettes. These are all shimmery and glitter shadows that she rarely uses. So she gave me her replacement palette. And um, this is my older palette. I love it. This is how it looks like. I didn't open the other one yet because I still have this. Uh, I use this a lot, obviously. And I'm using this color here today, Soaking Sun. And I'm using it on my lids. It's a great um amber copper colored shadow i love it so yeah she gave me that one and her main gift is something that i also posted on my community tab my community page i asked you guys not perfume related what do you guys think about ouija boards because she gave me one she said she knew that i really wanted to get one for myself and she has been wanting to give this to me but she couldn't find anywhere you know because we don't have any of those toys like, stuff that sell things like these um here in iceland because there are a good number of um, wiccans and um pagans and all of that in the country but we don't have stores about them and for them you know i don't know why so she said i've been really wanting to give this one to you but i couldn't find one but when i found the perfect store um she found this one on etsy so she gave me a ouija board it's made of wood i love it i haven't used it yet i'll be filming a separate video i don't know if it's today or the next day um i do have some experiences with this this isn't the first time um i have a board like this one you don't really need a board like this if you just want to dabble a little bit this having spirit of the glass or spirit boards like this one was a huge thing when i was in elementary school so it's not the first time for me but um yeah i really wanted to get one for myself um religion wise belief wise i'm not there anymore i know my curiosity and this you know wild brain is the one that will you know in the end whatever you know will be my demise i've been wanting to get one for myself and I just didn't know like it never happened you know like i want to buy it but then my husband is a straight catholic and he was like no don't do that don't buy that if you want to just do it for yourself so before i went to my best friend's house for um a, a lunch um i was like you know i'm gonna order it after but it's a good thing i didn't because she got me one so i know majority of the ones that answered my poll um aren't really for you know things like this but um yeah, I still want to do a, a series for Halloween talking about not using this one, but talking about, you know, what I think about, you know, spiritual things like this, what I did before when I dabbled in a little bit of magic and um, what it's like being, you know, growing up Catholic and believing all of this and if I still do believe them. So, yeah, um, that's it for today's video. Um, some fragrances that I added to my perfume collection, some routines that I'm really enjoying, and some things that I'm super excited to rediscover and reread, like this book, my gift for myself. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have reached this far, let me know by clicking the like button. And also, let's have a conversation down below in the comment section because um, I know how you guys strongly felt about the Ouija board, the spirit board. Watch out for the next videos that I will be posting during the end of September, beginning of October. I'm planning to do a fall series, maybe three or four videos about fall fragrances and some Halloween, some exciting things for Halloween as well. So thank you so much for watching once again. It really means a lot to me. If you are not subscribed to the channel, I do hope you guys consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you won't miss the three videos that I put up every week. I do post Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays and if I have extra videos or bonus videos I do try to post them on weekends as well as I always say in every single video have fun much love stay safe and see you in the next one